That sounds like you had a pretty busy day in school today, huh? We're trying to get ready for parents' day. Hmm. When is that? Wednesday. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to show Mommy all my papers on the wall. She'll be so proud of me. I just wish Grandma could be there, too. You miss her? A lot. I drew a picture for her and the family. I want to send it to them in Italy. Bud, does it cost much to send a letter to Italy? Your godfathers will bankroll this enterprise. Absolutely. It's money well spent. You think Grandma misses me? No, I'm sure she does. I hope she hurries home. I don't mean to be selfish, but I know those other kids need her more than I do right now. At least I still have my mommy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to introduce her to everybody at school and parents. You no, know, and I'm sure she's going to get a big kick out of that because your mommy needs a little fun in her life these days, huh? We're going to have the time on Wednesday. Hello, Anna. How go things in the courtroom? Well, we'll know soon enough, I think. Ooh. See, my little daughter is in very, very good health. She's lucky to have all those godfathers to take care of her. Yeah. Lucky and very grateful. Oh. Hi, Mommy. Hi, you are. Hi. We were just talking about oh, you. Where are you? All good things, I hope. <laughs> so, why don't you move in here? So, you spoke with Lucy Cole? Yes. Brett, Jake, and myself, we all questioned her in the judges' chambers. She's back in Kel Kevin's alibi. No. No? What? what? No. Lucy Kay did not see Kevin in the library reference room in the morning that Jennifer was... Uh, How badly will I hurt Kevin? Well, it completely destroys his alibi. Without her testimony, the defense really doesn't have a leg to stand on. Could Lucy Kay be lying? Uh, why should she? Isn't there anything Jake can do now? He has asked for delay in the trial, which, of course, Brett is fighting. But I think he should be given the extra time. However, quite frankly, I don't think it's going to do that much good because it'll be postponing the inevitable. Mm. Well, I really should be getting back to the office. I am going to be asking you all to help me out a lot with Robin now that Philomena's gone. Hey, you can't understand. Okay. That's really what I wanted to discuss with you. And thank you, too, for picking her up Today. No problem. We'll coordinate our schedule so that... I really do. But you, now you're not going to be able to spare much time because your schedule's busier than mine. I'm never too busy for my favorite little goddaughter. You have more than one? You're just about all I can handle right now. <laughs> you can drop Robin off him. I've got to go oh, back sure. to the office and then I have to speak with Jake. He's probably breaking the news to Terry and Kevin right now. Listen, I got news. Strange. What is? I really got used to playing on your team. I don't like going up against you. Well, we're really all working together. We're all trying to uncover the truth, and I think if we can do that, then we'll all go home winners. But better luck to our side. <laughs> oh, dear. Amen. What have you got? What about this guy that plays basketball, Norman Yorkin from PCU? He says he's really poor. However, I know that he has a really nice little red car. I asked him where he got it, and he said that it was given to him by a secret admirer. Sounds pretty fishy, but what does that have to do with the case at hand? Maybe nothing. Maybe a lot. It was given to him three years ago. Now, he clammed up when I got into the subject, so I thought I'd check into it myself. And I found out that this gift that was given to him by his secret admirer was given around the same semester that Red Flynn was fired. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we may have come up with something here. Oh, Felicia, our one chance is to break down the prosecution's witnesses. You may have come to the first step in that direction. Well, what can I do now? Uh, see if you can find anybody else who played on the basketball team. An honest player, somebody who was offered a car but turned it down. Maybe he can lead us to this secret admirer. What about me? Check the red car out. In fact, see if you can get a pink slip. I want to find out who the original owner was. Got it. Also, Frisco, see if you can find out anything about Lucy Coe. We have got to destroy her testimony. She's going to turn out to be the prosecution's strongest witness. Next to Red Flynn.